Hi, I'm Kathleen Putnam, Master Gardener from San Mateo, San Francisco County. And we're here in my dad's orchard doing a summer prune on this apricot. We're summer pruning the apricot because it gets eutypha, which is a winter-born disease. So we only prune apricots when there's no threat of rain for six weeks. There's only two tools I use when I prune fruit trees. I use my pruning shears, which are bypass pruners, meaning they, they go past each other, and I keep them sharp and clean. And to sharpen them, you need to get a file like this and file it away in this direction. Always going in the same direction until they're good and sharp. And the other, only other tool I use on a tree is a saw. Okay, let's make some cuts. The first thing you want to cut is any diseased, dead, or dying wood. And right here is an example of the type of damage. So I'm going to cut out this dead branch right where it joins the other tissue. So we've made that cut right there. Then I'm going to open this branch up a little bit so we can get some sunlight penetration. So I'm going to come down here to the branch ridge collar and make a cut there. Then we have this one big branch that's going straight up here that I'm gonna cut out as well. And right here is where the branch ridge collar is. So there's this little ridge here and then there's the branch. You wanna cut right there because there's healing tissue within this collar that will heal this wound. So you don't want to leave a stump and you don't want to get too close. If you get too close, you'll cut off the tissue that can heal this wound. Here's a dead branch I'm going to cut out. Here's a dead branch I'm going to cut out. Then I'm going to open it up a little bit more. This branch is really long, so I'm going to cut it back. I'm cutting it back to an outward facing bud. And I'm going to just go in here and clean up some more of these branches so that some sunlight can come in. I'm gonna go inside the tree now and try to make a sun cup. This tree has a lot of growth on the inside. This is a two and a half year old tree. It's super vigorous and the, the middle needs to be cleaned up. Again, here's a, a diseased branch. And we have a lot of really vigorous upward branches that I'm cutting down here, right to the branch ridge collar, and to an outward facing bud. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut out anything that's facing inward because we want the center of the tree to be open so that the sunlight can come and penetrate all of the tree. My sister Lisa, who's also a master gardener, is helping <laughs> helping me to open this tree up so it's a sun cup. It, we want it to be kind of the shape of a martini glass so the sun can come down in the middle and around all the sides. So uh, we've been working on this tree and we're almost finished. We reduce the height because we don't want to have to get a ladder to pick our fruit. And summer is the perfect time to do that. If you prune in the winter, it invigorates the tree. When you prune in the summer, it slows the tree down. When you summer prune, you're taking off the leaves that are the photosynthates, which is how the tree gets its energy. Another thing uh, Kathleen and I do in the orchards that we tend is, instead of fertilizing, we, uh, we do put compost around and then mulch, so you'll see a, a wood mulch, but then what we do is we plant fava beans all around the uh, all around the tree, and um, we don't need to put any fertilizer that way. They fix nitrogen from the air, and you can see these little nodules right here are little packets of nitrogen. So what we do before they go to flower is we cut off the fava, just cut it off at ground level, leave the roots in exactly where they are, and cut it into little pieces and just put it as mulch around the tree. So we're fixing nitrogen and we're mulching the tree all at the same time and then you save money, you don't have to fertilize. And we're protecting it from the sun. And also it provides 
sun protection from uh, for the trunk. So now the tree has been pruned. We've opened it up. The center is open. The sun can come in. It's uh, everything is reachable. It's going to grow some more. So we we cut it back quite a bit, but it is only May. So we're going to get some more growth on this tree this summer, spring, spring, summer. And uh, we're finished with this tree.